So now that we have our bucket data store, uh, let's just talk about how to create our uh, conversational agents, uh, chatbot app using the Vertex AI agent builder. So I'm just gonna go to apps, which was offered to us in the first place. So I'm gonna go create a new app. And uh, there are various options here, as you can see, and you're uh, free to explore on your own later on. But when it comes to conversational agents, you have two options, conversational agent, which is currently in preview, and chat. But this is part of the Dialogflow CX. And when it comes to Dialogflow CX, Google just announced that there is a renaming uh, and consolidation part, uh, plan where all of the Dialogflow CX will be renamed into uh, conversational agents. Long story short, to make your uh, uh, setup future proof and uh, because things will keep be, uh, getting renamed, I just suggest that you create a conversational agent here. I mean, I'm going to hit uh, create. And uh, you, you'll have a few options here. Use pre-built agent, build your own, create a Q&A agent. I'll just go with a build my own because I'll have my, well, I have my own data, I have my own instructions. So let's just click on this. Uh, when it comes to a display name, I'm just going to call it Auto CPU Frack Gen AI Agent. Very unique, I know. And uh, this is a tricky one if you're a financial institution or a healthcare organization or whatnot, where you will need to select that data. If you go global, which I'll go with, is that uh, data will be resting in the US. Uh, just so you know, as this might be. Yeah, be uh, touchy for those who know what term to law dispute is and so on. Regardless, uh, we'll uh, go with uh, Europe, uh, Madrid as the same, uh, yeah, same time zone as Amsterdam. And when it comes to a conversational start, I'll go with Playbook, uh, which is generative AI. As the other one is more like uh, Dialogflow CX uh, centric. My opinion and i'm gonna click on uh, create and i'm getting some weird error which i uh, wasn't getting initially which is the dialogue flow uh, has not been enabled i don't know why i'm getting this issue but uh, to resolve it i'll just go to the console and i'll go to the apis I'm literally doing this on the fly. I didn't see this issue before, so I don't know if this will fix it or not. We'll go to library. And I will look for a dialogue flow. Uh, yeah, that's here. And uh, I'm going to click enable. Well, there's a feedback also for Google. Uh, I think because it starts off that you create the agent first and then it doesn't uh, take in consideration if you're uh, creating the data store first and then agent. Either way, I think uh, this uh, should have fixed it. So I'm going to click on create again. And we have our... Uh, we have our uh, conversational agent, and this is what the playbook uh, looks like. And uh, yeah, the most important part is like, yeah, this is not that important, but I'm going to just define it as uh, just so it's easier for me to find later on. And what's important here is that you define your goal. So what is the goal? And this is something your chatbot, or uh, chatbot will uh, define its identity in. So uh, as part of this, I'm going to say assist users with auto CPU frec related questions and provide them with answers. And uh, besides this, I'm going to, I'm just going to copy paste uh, the instructions. These are pretty long, uh, but I will actually uh, describe what's uh, part of these uh, later on. And now, uh, because we, so we have our goals, instructions, we're missing our data store, which is something we created in the bucket. So let's do that. So in this case, I'm just gonna 
click on uh, date plus data store uh, on save data I'm gonna click on save of course and now I'm getting an error so it's always fun to have getting these uh, live so but I do think I know why this is happening so I uh, I'm just gonna go back and uh, I'm actually gonna go to tools and as part of the tools uh, so this is the part I was saying like initially this is the happy flow so initially once you to create a chatbot app and then you can attach the d data store to it I went the other way around uh, and uh, yeah problems but if anyone from Google is watching this this is really good feedback right here so as uh, the type I'm just gonna cl uh, click on the data store and I'm just gonna copy paste something uh, that I have in my prod uh, project which is basically a description it's not that important but I fill it out uh, in a high detail regardless which is that a tool provides access to uh, auto CPU fried project documentation readme releases and so on and I uh, will uh, click on save tool has been saved so that's good so let's go back to uh, playbooks and hope that this will work out now so I'm gonna click on the default it doesn't work for some reason I don't know I'm clicking it so I'm gonna go to create and uh, here I'll just uh, go uh, with this as my playbook name and I will copy paste my goals that I have my own prop project and uh, instructions and we can see already that now is gonna work because here it's already you set to use the auto CPU frag data as part of the data store uh, this is so something if you really don't know what you're doing you might be in a bit of a pickle here so regardless I'm gonna click uh, save and with that i believe we have our chat uh, yeah we have our chatbot uh, application ready to go before we move on i just want to say uh, that again goal is uh, what uh, anchors your uh, chatbot's identity in and the instructions are also important and we'll go in, in details more as uh, one of the next videos but for example for me lines uh, three to seven are the most important uh as uh, this is where uh in a nutshell i'm telling you to look for an answer in auto cpu frec uh, the data store and uh, return links if possible and then if the answer cannot be found as part of this uh, data store fall back to gemini to answer the question but uh, I'll discuss this also more as one of the next videos. I just wanted to add that as a uh, heads up.